Hey, Christy, this is Samantha from Feed Me Leads. We spoke on the phone and I told you that I would send you over the screencast. And so here it is. I'm going to keep it really short and sweet. I'm just going to go through your site really quickly. Then I'm going to go through one of your competitor sites. And then I'm going to give you three ways you can use yourself today for free to start bringing in some more high quality traffic to your site. And so I send these screencasts out with all of this free information, but often when business owners see what I do, how I do it, and how much work is put into it, they decide that they want to team up. So if you watch this through and you feel the same, please do not hesitate to reach out to me. But without further ado, let's get into it. And so here I am on the Robinson Restoration homepage. I can tell that you guys spent some time and or some money into the site. It looks very professional. It's actually spaced out very well. So it looks great. However, scrolling through, I'm not seeing a lot of content. Google is going to be ranking your website based off of around 200 different factors. One of those key factors is going to be content. You want to have a minimum of 1,500 to 2,000 words on this home page. I did a word counter search and you currently have 648 words. So I would suggest adding in some more content on here. You want to make sure that content is quality educational content. Google is going to send out their bots and they are going to crawl through your site and determine whether or not the content on there will help Google's users find the information or the services that they are looking for. In addition to having enough content, you want to make sure that content is filled with an appropriate amount of high volume buyer intent keywords. And so Google loves information and you can strategically place the right keywords within your content to tell Google exactly what terms you want your website to be in front of when people search for them. A great example of a keyword right here is Water Damage Restoration Vancouver WA. This keyword brings in 100 searches per month. So if you were to convert just a small fraction of those into customers, you'd be doing really well for just one single keyword. Beneath the search bar, we have Google Ads. Google Ads can be a great way to get your name out there and build some brand recognition. They are also great to take advantage of when you have a special event going on that you want to promote or you want to take advantage of a hot market. They can also be a good fast leads option while you are waiting for your SEO to warm up. Beneath the ads, we have our Google Map Pack. The Google Map Pack is extremely important. In order to make it into one of these top three spots, you need to have a lot of citations. A citation is just when your business is listed on an online directory. So Yelp, Home Advisor, Angie List, all good examples of online directories that people use and trust a lot. You want to be on more of those online directories than these three businesses are right here. Also, be careful when you're entering your information into these directories that it is identical down to every last character to the information on your Google business profile in order for it to be counted as a citation. Now I've scrolled down and made it to the organic search results. This should be your main area of focus. It's going to be your best long-term ROI. Google has actually come out and said that up to 70% of people, when they type something into the search bar, are going to be clicking on one of these organic search results. And they're almost always going to be clicking on one towards the top of the first page. In addition to having good content, in order to rank organically, you need to have a lot of high-powered, relevant backlinks. A backlink is just a clickable text from one website to another. It's basically like one website giving a shout out to another website. You want to get these shout outs or backlinks from high powered relevant sites. For example, if a local plumbing company with a powerful site were to give you a backlink, that would be a really great way to bring more power to your site. Here we can see the first competitor that pops up for this keyword is 1-800 water damage. This is a national company. The first local company to pop up is Sarkinen Restoration. Over here, I've hopped onto SEMrush. SEMrush is a really great tool. If you guys do bring this in-house, I highly recommend it. It is a little pricey. It costs me upwards of $300 a month to use, but it gives me a lot of great information. And so here I can see that they have 20,000 backlinks from 2,000 different domains, a bit higher than that. Um, that is a big number, but do keep in mind that this is a national company and this is the data for their entire domain. You don't have to beat them out for the entire domain, you just have to outrank them for the one page they have ranked in your area. But here we can also see that they are ranking for 4,222 different words. And so here we can take a closer look at the keywords they're ranking for. 
you want to keep an eye out for buyer intent keywords that are preferably location specific. So here we can type in Vancouver. So this will narrow it down to all the Vancouver keywords. Here it will list all the different keywords they're ranking for, what position they hold for that keyword on Google, how much traffic it brings them, and how many people search for that keyword every single month. And so you can go through, see which ones apply to what you do, and incorporate the best ones into your content. So now I'm going to go back and I want to do the same thing I just did with the keywords to their backlinks. And so not all backlinks are created equal. Some can actually hurt your site more than help. So I would go through and find the best backlinks that have a high AS authority score. You can go through, click on each one and see if you can have your website added to these different pages. You can go through these backlinks, go through other competitors' backlinks, and then find some on your own as well. So over here, I also typed in Sarkening. Right now, they have 58 backlinks from 38 different domains, and they are ranking organically for 150 different keywords. And then over here, I typed in your website into, Air, into SEMrush as well. Right now, you guys have 62 backlinks from 17 different domains. And so the referring domain number is actually really important. You want to make sure that you're getting your backlinks from different sources. Right now you are ranking organically for 20 different keywords. We can take a close look really quickly to see which keywords those are. So you're bringing in the most traffic by far with your own name, which does make sense, but you also want to focus on getting ranked for those other keywords so that if someone wasn't already looking for your company, they could find you. So you're ranking anywhere from around the fourth to the bottom of the ninth page. But I think that you could get rised in the ranks if you incorporate the three things that we talked about into your online marketing plan, which to recap, number one, more quality educational content with the right keywords. Number two, more citations that you can get ranked on the map pack. And then number three, you want more high powered relevant backlinks. That's what I have for you for today. Hopefully you enjoyed watching this and you got something out of it. If you are interested in learning more, you can just email me back or you can give me a call. My number is 714-975-5909. So thank you for watching and I look forward to speaking with you.